Welcome to JavaNet Bean Inventory Rental System. So let me show you how it works. Here you select the product name and there how many days you intend to rent it for. Okay, this is seven days here. It says it's 20 pounds per day, and that's the product code. Now credit limit, you don't have no credit there. How many days? Seven days discounts. Let's say you have 10% discount and credit check no credit check payment due no deposit no okay now terms of agreement enter that in there and if you have any other comments you can always enter other comments here right here okay and account open maybe 2015 okay review 16 and so on just sets all your data the way you want so the next thing is just click on total right there and you get your receipt right here so what I'll do now guys is to take you guys straight into Java development environment and I'll show you how I've put this together so let's go into Java NetBean now guys hi welcome to Java NetBean inventory management system so we start by clicking on new project and we select java java application click on next and right there you can always enter your application name so i'm just going to call that inventory system if you notice i've unchecked the create main class click on finish and right there we should have a, a folder ready for development right click on it and select new select j frame j frame form this very one click on that and once that is ready enter your name there you can always call it inventory underscore systems and right here let's give the package a name as well inventory systems and click on finish and right there our frame is loading up okay now let's right click on this very frame make sure it's selected right click on it and go to where it says select or set layer so I intend to set maybe I should go for absolute layer right there click on absolute layer you will notice the blue line the light blue line around the screen itself so I will now define the size of my screen. Let's define that to be. Let's come to where it's a preferred preferred size right there. I'm gonna change that to about for 1,368 by. Let's go for 700 and see what will happen. And that will be the absolute layer when the system is run. Okay. So the next thing now is let's go to palette right there and select panel. Place the panel there. I'm gonna need a couple of those. One here. And we can always change the color of that panel. Let's come to the property and change the border style of the panel. We need border right there. Let's make that a little bit visible enter 4 in there and you can leave it as black so I will now right click on it and just create a duplicate of it or just copy paste and there we have a duplicate I'm going to select both right click copy paste we have another set here and that will be all for now so let's move this down a little bit and this one's i think we're going to need one more move this up move this down okay come right down here and right in here we need one more copy it in here so let me reduce the 
this out a little bit. Bring it down about that. Um, move this down. I will increase the size of this. Now our frame is taking shape. The next thing is let's go for let's go back to the palette and select label. Can you change the size of that label to let's go for maybe 12? Yeah, 12 bold. Now let's go for something a little bit okay 14 bold and the text content of that label let's come to text here let's change that to product description okay right click on that and just create a duplicate there and bring it down we have one here and maybe two more there we go and i'll just bring these two down here up here yeah those are my duplicate there and then realign this back the way it was it's right there okay we now need text field or text area no text field really okay we gonna need text area here so let's leave one there and text we need text area okay text field there and another text field one more text field we need one here yeah. bring this down then we need need a combo box one combo here and one more combo box Okay, we have all our combo box in place and just move this here above that so that is enough room for these ones okay so let's change the names of this one right click and just select edit text and we we'll call that product that will be product code Next one will be number of date. Number of days. And here we have course per day. Course per day in pounds really. Day. Then we then we are not right. Do it again. Course. Okay, so that is set. Apart from us rearranging it, making it look pretty. Okay, let's continue. The next thing is we're gonna need some labels here as well. So we copy and paste one there. Let's copy this one again. Another one here, and another one. Four of those. One more. Okay. So we have our labels, maybe we can do that, select it all and paste. Bring that here and let's paste another copy here, we need about 5 here, okay and we will need some right underneath here, bring one here, 3 here actually. up and one more here all right now these labels let's give them all appropriate names so this one will be known as credit limit that is known as set set due date then this one is discount this is pay due day that's going to be all right so this one here will be credit credit check and right here we have payment payment overdue now here 
we change this to deposit deposit paid and here that will be method of payment okay so hopefully those will be and do that that will be most of the component required for this uh, hiring inventory system okay now we need some more components here so let's copy this let's copy that combo box copy it and just paste it in here paste we want it here and to move this paste the other one we need one here we need three of those here one more really four here yeah and here let's copy this text field copy and paste it in here one text field and the second text field right there it's looking good i think this one will do for now so let's come in here we need four or five of these really so let's select all of these copy them all and paste it in here paste there we go and one more copy that paste that is fine bring this here and there copy one two and three let's copy them control c paste them in there and let's change the border property of those border somewhere here right there let's make that two or maybe three click on ok get rid of the content in there there now we need to realign them The design is taking time but we're almost there all right so that is fine and now we need checkbox right there we've got one here one copy two checkbox in place there so all we just need here now is buttons so let's come in here get some buttons on board there one copy that two copy both together and one more so all our buttons in place and right there okay so let's change all these names change that one to tax and these changes to subtotal this one will be total right here change this one to account opened changes to last credit review and this will be next 
credit review. This one is application date. This is date received. Here we have changes to total. And here changes to reset. And here we changes to edit. I think maybe we just yeah, set it for three buttons. If I need more, I'll come back and get it sorted. Alright. I'll select this and increase the font on it. Hold 14 there. Okay. That's the interface design completed. So let's give that a try. Make sure it's all safe and uh, it's compiling, then we run it and see how it looks. Still compiling right there. Okay, now let's run it. I'll click on OK. And there, guys, that is how our inventory management system is looking in Java NetBean. So like I said earlier on, this is going to be a hiring system, inventory management system. So we need to enter some data in there and here as well. Okay. So now that we've completed the design of the interface, we just need to change the names here. And you can always take care of that while, while we're taking care of the codes. All right. So guys let's start with the coding